You're only seeing pink? Oh, because I need to take this off. It's Friday! Sad that we don't get to have preview number three tonight and an opening show tomorrow. I don't know, I'm hopeful that we get to do it again soon. Part of, I think, the collective sadness of our cast is that theater is like this magical thing that happens. You know all of these same people telling this same story, and it will never be like that ever again. And, and there are components to that, the time in the world, just the time in all of our lives. When a show ends, you just know that something really special happened, even if it was a trash show, which ours was not a trash show, but like we've all done shows that are like, mm, this is a strange strange time in the world. I think we're all just trying to hope for the best. What am I gonna do with my weekend? I was planning on being at the theater. I guess I'll have all the time in the world for some editing this weekend. If we can get our computer fixed, we're having some major issues with iCloud. We've kind of always had problems with iCloud. Tad's been on the horn with Apple support for, I don't know, days. Fingers crossed we get that figured out so we can start jamming again. But by the time everybody gets back from spring break, they're not gonna be going back to school. No one. Yeah. Yeah. In your house. So this is happening. Just a couple of errands today. Here we go. Okay, legit, I am not that freaked out about coronavirus, but I was just in the post office and I was in line and there was this guy and he's walking toward me and he has like fingers in his mouth. He also was just like standing behind me like whistling. And I was just like, ooh, I can like feel the air coming out of your mouth. Get, no. <laughs> How long are you folks in town? And I'm about to head into a CVS right now, which I know is an absolute madhouse because this parking lot is never this full. <laughs> Wish me luck. I come in here, I give these things to you. You check, you make your phone call. I have sickness all around me and you fucking ass. Oh my goodness, that was madness. I think I might have been in there for an hour. I was not actually able to pick up any of the stuff I needed to pick up for Benjamin. They said it was there in the email and on the phone, and it is not. Oh gosh, car just pulling out right in front of me. Way to go, BMW. Oh, it's so fun out here. Ugh. I just got back to the office, and this is happening again. I don't know what he's doing on that custom upholstery. <laughs> I'm eating my lunch, and while I do that, I thought I would give it a go again with AT&T. And this is what I'm seeing. <laughs> I was just sitting in my car uh, before I went in, FaceTiming my best friend, Mark Dela Cruz. And he had a friend there that just moved from here to New York. And they're both in the cast of Hamilton. Actually, Mark is the first Asian American Hamilton on Broadway. Hey, they're just sitting in his apartment because Broadway's down. Those two little cuties are just sitting there eating cuties. I miss him so much. This is the first time using my new camera. You're only seeing pink? Oh, cause I need to take this off. <laughs> I just took mine off too. <laughs> you guys are now ordered to work at home now? Yeah. Well, I've been trying not to just eat a bunch of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you're like, am I shooting right now? I think I'm shooting right now. Are you shooting from here up or like, just is this a tight? But he's like coughing. And he does, he feels prickly. So he's like nervous that he has like, has it. Drones, nobody has to touch anything. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Here you go. So just like 
Well, well the porn, the porn part, but not like the middle part. Today is Monday, the first sort of week that people are required to do self-quarantine. I just had a FaceTime therapy appointment. It went well. I'm gonna keep tweaking some edits with Tad. I'm gonna go get some breakfast. Not anywhere outside of my, my home, just in the kitchen. Oh, also, one of my dear friends, she's a writer. She's writing on RuPaul Drag's Race right now. RuPaul Drag's. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, I can do this. RuPaul's Drag Race right now. Ugh. <laughs> they are working remotely. She said, I'm really glad that we have cats. And I said, me too. We, we're so glad too. Like how boring and ter terrible this would be if we didn't have all animals. And she said, little soft creatures who have no idea what's going on and just want to hang and push shit off tabletops. <laughs> Perfect. We just finished catching up with some friends on Marco Polo and FaceTimed. Everybody's kind of in the same boat, um, near and far. I woke up this morning with a news flash, closed all the gyms and bars and restaurants. I have not read anything about like the post office. I am supposed to go into work tomorrow and drop some packages off. So far so good with the new camera. I really like it. It is really easy to use, thank goodness, because I'm kind of a tech dummy. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, it's my sister. Hi, Sissy. Hi, sweet little girl. How are you? Good. <laughs> Wish me luck, rookie. Okay, so you're going out there, yeah? Yep. You look like you're gonna go rob somebody. I might. It's a science experiment! He's gonna go out there. He actually has to go um, get some fingerprints taken for an upcoming job. He's Goodbye, gonna... I love you. I love you. Be safe out there. Cool. Yeah, he's gonna go maybe stop by a grocery store, see if he can um, pick up some eggs. Thing we have pretty good pantry stock. It's so funny because a couple of months ago, I accidentally purchased like so many paper towels. We already had all this stuff, so I feel pretty lucky that we keep a pretty good stock in here always, so we weren't like scrambling. I have the best stocked survival shelter in northeastern Pennsylvania. Quarantined baby cat. Yush. You sweet little bun, huh? Yeah. Operators put through all kinds of calls, many of them to out of town points near and far. I'll get it. Hello? And these are all questions that I've probably answered for her at least a dozen times. It's just not true. She just doesn't remember when we talked to her. Has mom been asking you to ask this stuff? I just don't know what to do when my mom's friends call me constantly. They are making recommendations about what we should do for her and what would make her happy, but they don't seem to understand that she just doesn't choose happiness. All we can do as people who love her is just try and calm her and tell her we understand how she feels. They ask so many questions that are so invasive because we are people in our right mind and we know what's going on. So if you truly know what's going on, you just will not encourage this anymore. I don't understand why you are the middle person now. I appreciate that you care about her so much. I really do. It's just, you know, it's, I'm sorry, church lady, but you're the most judgmental person I ever met. You twist everything people say into some kind of a... It's up to the family, and we're her family, and this is... that's it. Every time my phone dings, or every time I get a voicemail message or a nasty text from one of her friends, you know, wondering what's going on, and they're all people that claim that they know mom so well, but yet... They have had no idea. They don't know her history. I'm so grateful that people care about my mom, but it's just a lot. <sighs> okay, back to doing research about microphones. <laughs> Not without a lot of really cool features mm. and benefits. Hello. She's in her closet. I'm gonna direct her remotely. We're just recording a voiceover thing for something we're going to shoot later. Okay, and then give it a breath and then you can go. So this is take one mm -hmm. you know like that's more like to yourself mm -hmm. like you dummy <laughs> like, and no one would know i'm dead until monday that was a good take oh god to clear some of this out of here get out of here box it's actually the box this camera came in <laughs> a little bit of paranoia yeah. and then it's like no 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 you'll find me dead 